It's Wendy Jo. I am back really quick with a tutorial on how to upload your digital uh, items to Etsy. I've had this question over on TikTok, so I wanted to give you a quick step-by-step. -step. There's two ways to do it depending on what it is that you are selling, and I'm gonna show you just both ways. You do wanna have Canva Pro for one of these ways just simply because it simplifies the process so much. So inside of Etsy, you're going to obviously create a new listing, you're gonna add all your photos, you're going to add a video, that's important, all of your information. Here you're going to select physical or digital, obviously you're gonna select digital, and what that's gonna do is give you the option down here at the bottom to upload a file. So if you are creating a PDF file um, or an image or whatever that they're going to print out or they're going to download um, and then use like an iPad planner, or a digital planner or something, you're going to just simply download this and you are going to switch this to save it as a PDF print so it's the best quality and then you're gonna download it to your computer and then you're going to upload the file here and it's simple. Each person that makes their purchase, as soon as they make their purchase, are gonna be able to go into their purchase history and select the file to download and you can upload up to five files on a single listing. So. For instance, um, a lot of times on the digital planners, they'll have one that starts on Monday, um, they'll have one that starts on Sunday, and you know, it just, so they'll add all those different options in there. So you can upload up to five in there. So that is for all of your PDF files, your PNG files, SVG, like if you're doing, um, if you create designs that other people purchase to put on t-shirts or mugs, all of that's gonna be the simple create, download the correct format, and then upload on there. But if you are selling editable templates, such as a media kit, um, which if you don't know what a media kit is, I will show you really quickly. Um, media kit. This is what a media kit looks like. So obviously you can't sell one that's already been created on Canva, but it's a very popular niche right now because there's a lot of influencers out there and when people approach them or they approach people um, about promoting products and getting paid for it, this is what they send. Instead of a resume, this is what you send as a media kit. Well, obviously, you can't just send this kit um, pre-filled with whatever pictures you choose. They're gonna wanna put their own pictures in there. So this would be something that you would create a shareable link. And you can't upload a shareable link into Etsy. So I'm gonna show you the workaround on that. So once you have created your media kit or your Canva template or the website template or whatever it is that you're working with that needs a shareable link so that they can edit it, you're gonna simply click this share button. Again, this is the pro feature that you do have to have pro for that. Then right here, you're gonna click this down arrow and you're gonna share a link to use as a template. The reason that is, is you don't want them editing your original, you want them editing a template. And that way everybody gets their own and everybody's not working on one file. So share as a template, copy that link. Then what you're gonna do, because obviously you can't just copy and paste the link into Etsy, you can't post it in the body of the listing because then anybody can get it for free. So this is what I do. Create a thank you letter. And in that thank you letter, it's very simple, thank you for your order. Click here to download your editable file or your template or whatever, however you want it to, to say. You know, you can make it say whatever you want. And then right here, you're going to highlight the word here and you are gonna click this link. And then you're going to paste that link that you just copied in there. And then if you wanna check it and make sure it works properly, there it is and they can use it as a template. So you create the thank you letter with this, so then this becomes the file that you upload to your listing. So you're gonna simply download this as a PDF because that will allow this link to still be clickable and you can also make your website clickable, just an FYI, so that you can redirect your customers to your website as well. But you're gonna give them this PDF, so then you're gonna go in here and you're gonna upload that letter as the file. So when they make their purchase, they're gonna receive this immediately into their message box as well as to their email, and they're gonna open it and they're gonna be like, oh, there it is, and they're gonna click that link, they're gonna be able to download the template, and they can edit it on their own Canva uh, website. So I hope that helps you guys, super simple to do, and um, yeah, so if you have any questions, just let me know, put them in the comments, and I will do my best to answer them for you.
You guys have a good one.